Hi, it's Neve from Catfish, and I'm here with MTV News journalist and true life crime host Doma T. Pongo. And we're about to show you an unaired clip from True Life Crime involving the case of DeAnthony Keenan. In which you'll see me meet with Nate Johnson at Fresh Coast Alliance, where he showed me how the organization is helping people who have been formerly incarcerated get back on their feet. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you came to start Fresh Coast. 21 years ago, I was arrested here in Muskegon on a number of felony charges from armed robbery to delivering and manufacturing cocaine and was sentenced to the state prison here in Michigan and was sent off at 19. And after I was in several years, I discovered what my purpose was and it was to help people uh, win the war over staying out. Why is it a war? Why is it so hard to stay out once you get out? It's something that we call in the criminal justice reform world as collateral consequences. Jobs that provide a sustainable wage, those jobs are hard to find for the individual who has a felony and doesn't have the education or doesn't have the characteristics to do that. And so that becomes the real challenge is because we get out, but we don't develop the necessary skills in order to get there. Yeah. What might the real picture look like? With DeAnthony? With DeAnthony, somebody like DeAnthony, you know what I mean? DeAnthony was there at the county jail and uh, he would have been, you know, here in Muskegon, we have like a pod setting, right? So you're, you're going into a pod setting with a number of cells kind of in a shape of a U and you're in here with probably 20 to 30 other guys who have committed crimes. And so it's not an environment that champions turning the, the tide, so to speak, in the direction of your life. What surprised me was that DeAnthony had gotten really close with his bunkie. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about some of the relationships that you can forge in prison and how the guy that you think you're cool with, you may not be as cool as you thought. Absolutely, no doubt about it. You can't really trust people 100% because there's always an angle. Blamer wasn't no hustler. He was pump fake. That was part of his survival in that. But he portrayed himself to be this deal. Is it possible that DeAnthony and Blamer's friendship could have been a facade the entire time? See, that's very real, yeah. Wow. There's a lot about prison politics that you need to learn from somebody in real life and not from the movies. And what you learn is that the people who become your friends in jail aren't necessarily your friends on the outside if they were ever your friend in the first place. It's one of the reasons why it's important that former inmates have support systems and resources so they don't find themselves in deadly situations like DeAnthony or end up back in jail. Now, Nate runs Fresh Coast Alliance in Muskegon, mixing sports and community activities as well as social services and group therapy to keep former inmates out of prison. He's offered to give me a tour. So tell me about the space. What are these different rooms? This here is, well, is our training room. So when individuals are coming home from incarceration, prison, or jail, or just coming out of a life of addiction, they meet with reentry coaches, recovery coaches. In this room right here, this is where we have a lot of our groups. We have one group where law enforcement, formerly incarcerated people come together and we sit at the table and we talk through issues that are challenging for us. And in that particular group, we have a basketball game once a year where law enforcement play against those on parole. So you don't just talk about the work and resources aspect. You're talking about real life. Yeah, we get down to the nitty gritty and really deal with the real issues. Because when you look at the majority of individuals coming home from prison, the main thing that individuals are missing and what they're wanting really is that sense of belonging. Most of the time, they're not running to something, they're running from something, because that sense of belonging is not being met in the home. This is the kids' room. So on Friday nights, we serve dinner and we invite the families to come out because a lot of times the children don't have a voice in this. And usually their voices are left out. They can come in here and we have people come in here and watch them, some of the adults in the program. We'll watch the kids while the parents are in their groups. So if mom or dad is down there getting counseling but has to bring the kids by, they've got a place. They got a place to go. That's dope, yeah. So this room here is, is where we have some of our uh, weekly groups, reentry, recovery groups, and also even on Sunday mornings, there's a church service in here. A large part of what you do at Fresh Coast is to fill the gap that exists between people who leave jail, come out, they're not rehabilitated, mm -hmm. and they don't have the resources to get back into society. What's missing 
that should be in place. You can get out and um, get a job that uh, where it actually provides a livable wage where you can be sustainable in life. See, when I came home, I went back to college and got approved for grants to pay for it. Are you able, though, to get a student loan if you have a felony? Yes. Like, I did. So I didn't know all, that. All this time, I thought that if you had a felony, no. you could just... Mm. So you got that, the trades program. The, the Department of Corrections will actually pay for you to... They'll pay $8,000 for you to get your CDL license to be a truck driver, and we'll start you out between fifty dollars and $70,000 a year. Hmm. With a felony. Mm. Now think about that. But when guys come out, they don't know all the resources around, right? So that's where Fresh Coast comes in. I want to point them, look, you actually can get out and actually stay out. You can actually, you can get out and get a job that provides a livable wage that you can actually take care of your family. You can actually buy a home. You can actually buy your own vehicle. Everything that you want to do out in the streets, you can do it here. And we got the proof at Fresh Coast. And they come in and I tell them, you give me one year. Give me one year. My conversation with Nate Johnson really crystallized for me what life is like when you end up in a Muskegee County Jail. He shed some light on when you've been to prison and you get out, there are certain things you can't get, like mortgage, jobs, so many resources that become difficult. But in actuality, a lot of programs are out there to help you reintegrate into society but the information isn't always available to formerly incarcerated people. So what's phenomenal about what Nate's doing is he's making that information accessible for folks and providing a place for them to download and talk about their experiences. A part of me wonders that if DeAnthony was ready for that type of conversation, I wonder if things would have turned out differently for him to avoid turning back to the streets.